I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Jody Harrison Lee. How are you going on this wonderful, beautiful night? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's a great pleasure to connect with you. Please do tell us which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time. Well, I am a longtime martial artist. I've been training for about 25 years in the Korean styles of Taekwondo and Hapkido. And now more recently, I have uh, the bugs been put in my ear to train and focus on women's self-defense specifically, young women to help them be safe and strong and able to defend themselves as they go out to college or out, you know, otherwise out into the real world, so to speak. And I wrote a book called Find Your Strength, The Secret to Being Safe, Strong, and Able to Defend Yourself. And so these past couple of years, I've been focusing on that, my philosophy and seminars related to related to that. All right, all right. How has that been going? Is it fun? It's very fun. I, you know, I've been, we run a martial arts studio, and so that's my primary job, so to speak, but it's wonderful, and I meet so many people, and I've learned so much. But focusing on with what's going on in the news over the past few years and recently, it's been exciting to help um, young women feel and be strong um, and, you know, as they, you know, walk through life. Mm. It's inspiring. It inspires me and hopefully it inspires them too. I love your name. Your name is definitely fitting to this, isn't it? (laughs) Your last name. (laughs) Yeah, Jody Harrison Lee, like Bruce Lee. Oh, yeah. I love it. So who did you learn martial arts from? Well, I learned martial arts mostly from my husband. He is Korean, and I started training when I was in college, and that's how I met him. So, uh, so yeah, I learned from him. We own the studio together. But mostly, I mean, I can't just you know, give the credit to him because all of the students I've had over the years and my own kids, I have children too. And just watching what makes people strong, looking back at my own life, uh, going from being strong as a little kid and then the insecurities that come about when you go through your formidable teen years and, and then how to become strong once again, looking back on, on my experiences so being a teacher and being a mom and and also just watching so many families. I work with so many families, so I, I really owe a lot of gratitude to them as well. But my husband is the one who taught me all the martial arts that I know. There we go. Now, there are the challenges to what you do. Like, you have to keep your saw sharpened, right, uh, with martial arts. Why will you continue to repeat this skill, nevertheless? Well... I mean, I have gone through challenging times, certainly earlier in my training, you, because it's a repetitive, it's repetitive training, but that's true of anything that you want to be truly great at. You have to do it over and over and over again. And I don't know where exactly along the line, but some, at some point I really clicked and I understood the benefit and the beauty of it. We have a martial art creed that we say, And it goes to build true confidence through knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. And even though I had repeated that thousand times over, you know, over the years, I don't know how many times I've stated that creed, it finally dawned on me how true it was. And so I just continue my training and I'm so grateful for it. And I understand how it's made me strong in every way, not just physically, mentally, and and emotionally as well. So I keep doing it and to set an example too for other people that it is a a great way to develop that in your life. What's one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years? Well, besides my training, I, I would say 
about that many years ago, about three years ago, I really started seriously studying people who are successful, people who are inspirational. So almost you know, daily, for sure, weekly, I'm either listening or reading to reading something or watching something. And also meditation. I've added that into my routine over the past couple of years as well. How does that make you feel, Jody? It makes me feel connected, makes me feel more present, makes me feel more in charge of my life. Like life isn't controlling me, but I'm controlling my, you know, my life. And that probably, yeah. And it also helps me feel um, more ready to be inspiring to other people as well. Why would you suggest to someone that's listening that they do that as well? Well, I would suggest if, people are looking for a way to feel good about themselves to feel, feel strong about themselves that martial arts is an exceptional way to go about doing that because not only does it make you feel physically strong but it's you know focuses on mind body and spirit and so when you work on all three of those areas of yourself um it makes you confident um and you know able to handle anything that life has to give you Because those three parts of ourselves, we have to focus on all of them in order to really feel good about ourselves. So that's absolutely why I would suggest them for kids, for any age group. But, you know, for kids to start, I've watched so many kids over the years and I see the difference in how confident they are and how they can handle, you know, the drama and stuff that happens in school and, you know, able to handle social difficulties and stuff like that. So I think it's awesome. Where's the best place for someone to connect with you, Jody? The best place for someone to connect with me would be through um, our website or email. All right. Is that what you mean? Yeah, tell us your website, please. So the website is themarshallwaykicks.com is our business website. And I'm working on find-your-strength.com which will be coming soon because my physical book of the same name will be coming out in January. So I'm super excited about that. Love it. Love it. Well, Judy, let's switch gears for a moment now and let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. <laughs> Judy, what is your earliest childhood memory? Oh, wow. My earliest childhood memory. Well, I have lots of memories of sports and stuff, but I would say... Uh, when um, probably there was a time when uh, my friend and I decided that I had a playhouse in the backyard and we decided that it would be more exciting to take the furniture that was in the playhouse and put it on top of the garage, which had a sunken in um, roof. And so we had to take a ladder and carry the the furniture up the ladder and my mom's plants and onto the shed and then pull the ladder up to get it onto the garage. And we had this whole little setup on top of the garage. Uh, somehow that always sticks in my head and I must have been about six or seven wow. when I did that. So did it work? It did work. And we had this little, you know, little kids love playhouses and forts and so forth. And that's basically what it was. And we would play up there and my mom had no idea until until one day she saw from because it was a second a two story house and then she noticed that her plants and this stuff was on <laughs> I think that's when I got in trouble. Well, that's intriguing. <laughs> so how do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Well, I was I'm you know I think that it's because it was daring to do that. When I would look back on pictures of the backyard and how dangerous it was to carry those things up a ladder and then actually pulling the ladder up and doing it again because it was tall, I can't believe I did that. And then going through a period of my life where I wasn't as daring, a little more fearful, and now trying to break through to you know, give my message out to the world or what have you, that takes um, being daring again. So I think maybe I look back at that because it was fearless. Mm. Can I offer an interpretation to the thought picture you created in my mind with that memory? Sure, absolutely. I love the idea that you're helping another young woman build a fortress. Cool. 
just yeah, what absolutely. you're doing now, right? Yeah, I love it. But there we go. I mean, of course, it's your memory. It's amazing. If we fast forwarded to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? My favorite song? You know, I was kind of a dork when it came to music. I did not tend to like the music that other kids liked. I was really more gravitated towards folk music. So I liked a lot of, I don't know, like Simon and Garfunkel kind of stuff, Crosby, Stills, Nash. Mm-hmm. And But I can't remember the exact um, song, right. but I did like that kind of music. All right, it's cool. All right, well, Jody, we have arrived now at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there is a small declaration form. So it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready, Jody? Okay, I'm ready. Jody, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Not specifically, although my kids kind of embody it. And I hope I'll just create a ripple effect. Are you married? Yes. Yes. To, to Bruce Lee, I mean. Sorry. That's Bruce Lee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's just as amazing. Do you, do you have children? I have three children, 21, 17, and 10. Wow. Do you believe in God? Um. Yes and no. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I do. I have a couple of inner circles of friends. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Definitely not. How about three hours a week? Maybe. Maybe not even that. What about screen time, the phone, and the computer? Is it more than eight? or less than eight hours a day wow yeah that might be cutting it close i don't think eight hours a day but definitely a lot if you jody had to share with us your own unique real statement a statement that represents jody harrison lee what would you say that is i would say that you all can find your strength if you focus on your mind body and spirit love it jody this was a great pleasure before you leave is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience um well i would love it if you are interested to check out my book that will be coming out in january on amazon find your strength the secret to being safe strong and able to defend yourself just like that little girl that made it strong and safe on the rooftop jody lee Jody, thank you so much for being on what is inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Awesome. Thank you, Angel. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition the signs and symptoms and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.